Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lisette and guys, I have the post review for you for Seaside Dreams. And look at this beauty. Sorry, I need to put her a bit like this because there's so, so much glare and that's just because the, oh wow. The drills are so shiny. The quality is so good. Look at all the confetti. <laughs> okay, right. Let's just start with some basic info. It's a Dreamer Designs, um, legally licensed from Chuck Pinson, 90 by 60 centimeters square drills with 53 colors and one AB. And guys, sorry to say, but unfortunately, this one is no longer available because Chuck Pinson is no longer legally licensed with Dreamer Designs. Um, he is, of course, um, licensed with Diamond Arts Club, but they haven't brought out this one yet. Uh, I hope they will because, guys, it's beautiful. Oh, look at the flower beds over here. And then you've got the cobblestones like that. And you've got so many details. The house next to the lighthouse. Sorry, I need to zoom you in a bit like that. You see the light behind the window and then the lighthouse itself. It is done so beautiful, but look at the trees in the background and of course the sky. And then the sea. I really like this part where you see the little tree and then you see there is the break of the waves. This is beautiful as well. And then over here, you've got this tree that of course was really confetti heavy, but look how it turned out. And I was really surprised, you see it now, when all of a sudden I saw that there was a house over here. And I hadn't noticed that before and I was working and then I stepped back and I was like, oh, there's another house. <laughs> and that is what really is great about these landscape Chuck Pins and Dime Pins. I look at the birds in the sky over there and there's another one very light over here. And um, well, guys, I absolutely loved working on this one. Oh, look, and here you see the fence. And um, I was a bit worried, to be quite honest, when I started working on this one, because, um, well, he's no longer licensed when Dreamer Designs. Okay, I'll zoom you out. And I had heard um, from other creators uh, that there was an issue perhaps with rendering or something like that. Well, guys, for me, with this particular diamond painting, uh, well, maybe I haven't done enough landscapes, but I absolutely love it. I see all the details. I don't think it's pixelated. I just think it looks like a painting. <laughs> And of course, I really love the sailboats over there. But don't you agree? And look at the sky. The sky is done amazing. And as I said, there's only one AB in this one, but I really didn't miss it. And when I look at it like, na like this, I really love the way that this tree came out. And when you're working on it, you're like, mm, uh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> but it really is great. I love everything about this and guys this is the only <laughs> landscape that i have in my stash and i'm really regretting that right now so mindy i don't know if you see this post review but now i get it um <laughs> if you don't know mindy of course you know mindy but um mindy mindy's diamond moments she does um, a lot of Chuck Pinson. She's a big Chuck Pinson fan. She hosts the Chuck Along in March and March and September together with Maritza from Kiss My Crafts, and that's how I got to do a Chuck Pinson in the first place. And I did the third Chuck Along. I think it was March last year, and then I did. 
this one. The Golden Valley. Stunning! And I really enjoyed it, but I wasn't like... Um, and look, that's really confetti heavy as well. For me, it felt the same. The quality of the drills is, well, there's not a lot of difference in quality. I really loved the, the quality of uh, Dreamer designs. The only thing, well, that's just a pet peeve, is that the um, stickers on the containers, they came off each time. Look. They have these kinds of stickers. Oh. Look, for me, they came loose like that. Well, that's just a tiny thing, but I found that a bit annoying. I had leftover drills. Um, I ran out of one drill, the 393371, this one, but I had some leftover drills from Diamond Art Club uh, that I used. And since I feel like they are so close in quality, well, if you can see where I used <laughs> my spares from Diamond Art Club in this diamond painting, well, wow. I love the color palette of this one. I'm really sorry that I can't, uh, that you can't get it anymore, but if you have it in your stash, you're going to love it. And this one, while we're at it, the Golden Valley is in the last chance section of Diamond Art Club. So once this goes out of stock, it won't be back. So if you want it, go get it at Diamond Art Club. Um, also, I think the, it's a reduced price right now. So I think you can get it half off or something like that. And it's really pretty, as you can see. I really enjoyed working on this one. But my personal favorite is this one. Okay, and then, of course, in my stash detox journal, because I keep a stash detox journal. Look, guys, I showed it last week. Seaside Dreams, number 14. And oh, the sticker is over there. So I'm, I've done 14 and I've got 38. More to go, almost there. <clears throat> okay, wait, and I need to put it in here. Let me just get that down. Um, it's a square seaside dreams. Chuck Pinson from Dreamer Designs. Okay, so, so far I have done one, two, three, four, five squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rounds. And <laughs> this is a round with, look, I have put little sparkly things and that was the breast cancer, that was the Crystal Canvas Art Designs and I have one other from Crystal Canvas Art Designs so I'm going to have one other like this. So, so far this is my fifth square from my stash that I have finished. Only one more to go guys and then I can get my present. Where did I have that? Here. 14. So just one and then I can get a present. And I already know what I'm going to get, guys. I'm going to get a new diamond painting pen. So, yay! So what I did, <laughs> after I finished this one, I immediately made a note in my journal um, that once I have finished my stash detox, in case you don't know what that's about, I'll put a link over there. It's just me working through my stash and not buying new diamond paintings until I have finished each and every single one in my stash. And as I said, there are no landscapes in there. And uh, well, Mindy, I totally get that you love Chuck Pinson. I totally get that you like working on them. I loved working on that, this one. I would really love to get another 
landscape diamond painting so maybe once I'm halfway through my stash detox because when I have finished 26 diamond paintings I can get one new diamond painting that is part of the stash detox challenge maybe I will get a landscape that's where I where my thoughts are at the moment and it's all based on working on this one I really really enjoyed this I think it's absolutely stunning and guys it's so confetti heavy only the sky this one worked this part worked up quickly I used the multiplacer in the sky um, but I don't see a lot of gapping you see it looks great I like all the nuances in here and the only thing is that with Dreamer Designs when the drills aren't on it the canvas is really saturated uh, the symbol quality was super clear I worked like that and then I turned my canvas and worked this part upside down but the symbols were so clear and easy to distinguish that um, I had no trouble at all I did the entire painting without a light pad I do my diamond art clubs without a light pad as well just saying just for your information I, I can't say enough good things about this one look over here this and this all the details all the details that's what makes it fun and yes you need to take your time with this um, I focused all my attention on this one so I didn't work on another diamond painting I just worked on this one for a while normally I switch between projects but um, after I had finished Arrival which was really disappointing uh, which was a round from Diamond Art Club I just focused on this one and once I got going I didn't want to work on anything else I just wanted to work on this one so now that I have finished it I'm really looking forward to working on a round <laughs> because this was a beast to work on but I love it I love it I love it I love it please let me know what you think and uh, well guys just be prepared that once I have finished my stash detox you won't only see beautiful ladies on my diamond painting channel anymore but um, I'm definitely going to get more landscape diamond paintings um, I've done two Chuck Pinsons now I would love to do a Dominic Davison I also would love to do an Abraham Hunter so well guys <laughs> lots to look forward to okay if you like this video I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out let me know what you think about this are you just a big a fan as I am or maybe you are not a landscape fan have you tried landscape this is only my second I've only done the other chuck and this one after the other chuck I thought well yeah it's fun but well I wasn't overly enthusiastic and now I, I get it I totally get it I'm 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 a landscape fan okay I said it <laughs> Mindy I get it I get it now all right guys thanks so much for watching and have a great week and I'll see you next Wednesday for another video